Well, hi. I'm back with my Bing toy steam engine. And uh, today we're going to address this pretty crude repair that I did on this machine a long time ago. And I was never really happy with how it had turned out. You know, the um, especially the soldering down here. The, there's just a huge crack all the way around. Um, which I had to fill up that way because I didn't have the methods and means to uh, create such a cap. Um, well, now I have a lathe, so why not do it? Especially since I found this, which would be the original side glass to come on this machine. So, um, let's go ahead and start disassembling this thing. to take the boiler cap off I need a lot more firepower so I'm heating up my blowtorch and uh, meanwhile I'm going to mark out the circumference of the new part. No one talking all by myself No one walking I'm happy on the show, babe. I'm misbehaving, saving my love. I them love you, really them love you. I know it's saying, one I love, through it flirting. You that I'm thinking of, I'm misbehaving, saving my love. Oh, baby, my love for you. That I'm actually hoping to uh, accomplish the ridge on the bottom cap for the overlap here is by uh, simply metal spinning it on my lathe. <clears throat> now the usual work holding technique is just to have a uh, piece which is the finish contour of the part. So as you can see um, the thing is quite a bit bigger than the die and um, we're going to clamp it in between, spin it, and then basically fold this edge over onto this part here. Um, this is some kind of punch press, press which was used to mark screws. I just found it and, well, I took it. When we just put this on here, of course, it's just gonna fall off. So we need something to press up against it. This is some acrylic. Um, I've got a center drill in this side, so I'm just going to wedge the part in here with the tail stock, just like that. Now, of course, we need to get it uh, running true, and by exerting pressure on the tail stock, the friction in between the parts is so great that it won't move. Well, I am hoping to achieve good results with just a piece of hardened steel. You know, it's pretty polished, so it's smooth and won't tend to cut the material. I have no experience in metal spinning whatsoever, so let's just give it a try. <laughs> Need a longer lever. Don't care to go. I'm home about it. Me and my radio, babe. Ain't misbehaving. Save me no more. Well, that was a lot harder than I thought. Always looks so simple on the internet. I'm finished now, so I'm going to trim off the axis here. 
which is not needed, and uh, then we can take it out of the bay. And there we go, one new made boiler cap. And the fit is actually really good, so I'm very happy. We can now drill the holes in here to mount the side glass. As you can see, I have sanded and polished the circumference of the boiler cap a little bit. Holes are drilled and tapped. I already remounted the uh, drain cock as it is secured by a nut from behind so that you can move it uh, so that it is really pointing downwards and then secure it into place. So that has to be done before soldering the cap back on. So, um, of course, I also sanded the circumference where the two pieces are going to meet. And, well, take a good look inside. It's going to be a long time until that's open for public again. joint is clearly visible all the way through looking very nicely and continuously so I'm hoping it's going to be water and pressure tight the machine finished. Of course the boiler cap is shining quite a bit more than the rest of the boiler but I guess a couple of heats and that should blend itself in. So all that's left now is a test run. Mm -hmm.